welcome to What's to Eat. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, healthy, wonderful, great, delicious foods and treats. Today, I am welcomed by a very experienced, wonderful chef, um, Chris Cordillo. Welcome, Chris. Welcome. How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. So I'm all about in terms of healthy ingredients, nutrient-dense foods, putting things together that um, are nutrient powerhouses. And you have some wonderful things that you're going to share with us today. Yep, that we do. Yeah. So how did it all begin as far as becoming a chef? Um, So I guess basically, you know, being influenced with an Italian family, you know, you start at a young age, like being in the kitchen, you know. Um, So when I was, you know, probably in my you know, early teens, you know, I was just constantly always wanting to know what was going on in the kitchen. So I would always help out my grandmother and my mother. And from there, you know, I had a passion. Mm -hmm. So um, I basically went to uh, went to a little food program in uh, Yorktown, which was BOCES. I did two years of culinary and then a year of uh, business and management. And I had a passion for it. So I worked in numerous amount of uh, restaurants Mm -hmm. doing uh, Mm -hmm all aspects of the kitchen, and uh, just fell in love with it. Wonderful. And it took off from there. And uh, today you're going to share with us important things, uh, great foods, but with the holidays coming on, it's important to also keep in mind that we want to feel good. Correct. And you have a wonderful talent in terms of taking basic things but making them so creative and delicious. So what was the first you'd like to share with us today? So one of the first dishes that can uh, be used for our holiday, uh, like Thanksgivings and Christmas uh, and all different holidays, we are doing uh, a sweet potato, uh, roasted sweet potato with Parmesan Mm. with a little bit of uh, organic Italian honey. Mm. And then uh, that's going to be one of our side dishes. We're also doing a roasted Brussels sprout Uh with toasted pancetta, Uh sautéed shallots, and dried craisins. Uh Uh-huh. And then for another side dish, we also have, uh, it's a farro salad with uh, roasted butternut squash, uh, candied walnuts, and we're also going to do some apricots in there with a lime and lemon uh, zest vinaigrette. And then for the main, we're also going to do a uh, turkey roulade stuffed with a vegetable stuffing. Wow. Sounds wonderful. My favorite mm-hmm. is the farro. I mean, that was that's awesome. That's a wonderful grain, and the what you do with it is is absolutely amazing. So, what what first? You so, share? actually, with all Italian uh, appetizers, usually what we always start off with, which I didn't, I failed to mention, was our mozzarella and tomatoes. Oh. So, we do a homemade fresh mozzarella every day, and we're going to do a platter of a, like a mozzarella caprese. No. Oh. So. Yes, and your mozzarella is a homemade. Homemade, yes, every which, day. Which is extremely important. I'm always telling my um, patients that you want to eat real and nutrient-dense foods, and even with cheese, you want to eat quality and, and real things. So we'll just start here with the This is my ultimate mozzarella. favorite. Mm-hmm. It's like a nutrient powerhouse. You have your tomatoes, which are lycopenes. You've got your uh, extra virgin olive oil, which is anti-inflammatory. And then you've got mozzarella, which is protein. And it's so easy to put together. Now, people are always, all my patients are always saying to me, you don't have no, any time. There's no time. But look how quickly you can put something together that's nutrient-dense, that's healthy for you, and just a nutrient powerhouse. And also colorful and full of texture and aroma. And this is the best time of the year, too, coming off the season with all the fresh products out of the garden, with all your, you know, uh, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, vine-ripe tomatoes. Mm. Delicious. We always definitely have a spike in sales when it's... uh, at the end of the harvest, at is this it? time of the year, with the mozzarella, because everyone wants to use their, their last batches of tomatoes. Last batch of tomatoes, yeah. So just as simple as this, just, you know, slice it, and you normally just uh, layer a platter. Just uh-huh. a little, every other one is like... And like I said, so easy to put together, you know? People say, I don't have the time, but... Look how easy it is to put together that's such so delicious with texture, color, and flavor, and so healthy. Again, balance and moderation is key. The tomatoes are so fresh and plump and 
delicious looking. That fresh mozzarella looks absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness, I remember as a kid going, living in Queensland, I remember traveling to Arthur Avenue once a month just to get fresh mozzarella. And you just finish with a little bit of some basil. Mm. Oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, the aromatics between the basil and the olive oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the way you cut it, I learned that over in Italy when I was there, the way you cut something makes a big difference in terms of how it permeates and the aromaticity of it. Ribbon cuts like a chiffonade, long yeah. ribbon, a little black pepper. Oh my goodness, Chris. Looks so good. Malayan sea salt. And then, of course, a little bit of olive oil. A little bit. Or just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. And you can show that. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, just phenomenal. Very easy to put together, nutrient dense, quality, texture, flavor, and uh, just so good for you. It's absolutely delicious. Can't wait to try. Neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old in my family. Yeah, absolutely. And you can start children too, very young on this, as well as a great appetizer. Oh, right? absolutely. My yeah. four year old loves it. Great foods, great, great foods to start with. Um, so then we have an, uh, our next dish we're going to move into. We're going to do our uh, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are um, phenomenal in terms of uh, uh, great antioxidants. It can be used as a snack just by basically some simple ingredients, but they're just also, again, a wonderful nutrient powerhouse. And what Chris is doing here is the holidays are coming up and we want to try to find foods that are both healthy and delicious, but at the same time um, have a holiday spin, which he's doing right here with uh, the sweet potatoes and the Brussels sprouts and the farrow salad, which he'll show us. So the first thing I did here offset was boil the Brussels sprouts uh -huh. for about uh, 10 minutes okay. and then we split them and we tossed them with a little bit of olive oil, salt, right. pepper put them on a sheet pan, and we roasted them for about 25 minutes at 375, which is going to give you that caramelization is what you're looking for. So after you get that charred Wonderful. flavor, yeah, then you're going to start with um, your other ingredients, which are uh -huh. going to be a... Um, <clears throat> we have here our sautéed shallots, our toasted pancetta, and we have some craisins as well. For color and for just color. antioxidants, that's great. A little, the craisins are going to add a little bit of a sweetness. Uh huh. And your pancetta is going to add a little bit of salt. Oh. Looks exceptional. All the t flavors and colors. It's like a per perfect orchestration, harmony of all the flavors coming together. And my patients in my offices as an RD, they're always saying to me, what can I have as a snack, Linda, for the afternoon? Look, it's right here. And as Chris said, it's not easy to put together. Uh, it is it is easy to put together. And with just a touch of other things, you can make it, again, a nutrient powerhouse and something that could curb any craving. So what I did before, I did season everything with just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to do one quick turn of it for you. And we will present it. Good. And these are also a great item to serve room temperature because, you know, during the holidays, your oven is so overloaded yeah. and you really can't, you know, get everything in and time everything. So people it's stress out. Absolutely. So you just try to think of things that you can actually serve at yeah. room temperature right. or heat up prior and then put out because, right. you know, the overload of the ovens. And that's what I like to do, too, to try to make everything easy for, you know, all of our uh, customers and our watchers, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. they can, you sure. know, cook easily and serve, sure. present well. Absolutely. So that Absolutely. Would be completely. And what a great food to have uh, during the holidays and all of Chris's foods during the that help during the holidays uh, can minimize cravings but also be a nutrient powerhouse but also be delicious. That looks wonderful. So one of my favorites here, and it's 
very healthy and very fiber ridden. We have uh, our farro salad, which is an Italian grain. Yes. So we're going to start here with just the farro. This farro takes about an hour and 15 minutes to uh, cook, which cooking temperature would be like to a, bo uh, to, a, to a boil, to a simmer for about 45 minutes, and then about a half an hour boil. And uh, we're just going to boil that with just a touch of sugar, just to add a little sweetness. And you can see why it's so high in fiber. Um, shared is seven grams of fiber per serving. Um, and with women needing 25 grams of fiber a day and men needing 40, um, it's low in fat, high in protein, and it's, it's right along there with quinoa. So it's great for anybody that's trying to watch their cholesterol, improve their diabetes or blood pressure, um, and also just being absolutely delicious. And this is a little uh, lemon-lime zest vinaigrette we use here with some extra virgin olive oil. And uh, this dish also consists of a little bit of craisins for uh, sweetness and color. Mm -hmm. And then we also do some apricots as well. Sometimes uh, the dried apricots are a little on the hard side, so you soak them right. just to soften them, which I did prior. But it's all simple ingredients, you know. To put together. To put together. And at the end, when it all comes together, the textures and everything really work well. This Amazing. is our This is our roasted butternut squash. All you did was cube this, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, high heat for a half an hour. Get a little caramelization on there. And then... It looks exquisite. It's like a perfect not, combination of flavors, texture, Last but not aroma. least, it's going to be your vinaigrette. You can always add more. You can start light and then have a little bit extra on the side to top it off with. And I have to say, next to the mozzarella, this was my favorite mm -hmm. because it's a it's combination of high fiber, wonderful flavors and textures, and uh, just nutrient dense. Again, a powerhouse. Now, how many of us during the holidays go for candy yams or whatever's on it? Yams with marshmallows or high, very high fat stuffings. What a wonderful substitute. That's high in fiber, nutrient dense, and at the same time colorful. And I can just smell it from here. It's just amazing. This is also one of those dishes you can serve room temperature as well, which I recommend. Um, and also, what I usually do at the end is I, uh, I'll add the candied walnuts right to the top. I'm going to give them a quick chop. Wow. I actually add a little bit of cayenne and cinnamon to these just to add Good. a little bit more flavor. Great combination. With my patients, uh, I'm all telling them, Chris, about different spices and how they come together mm -hmm. and how they add so much to the dish. I can smell them from here. It's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's it's it. It's exceptional. Just, like I said, color, texture, flavor, perfect orchestration of uh, flavors, textures, and everything put together. So what I will uh, also present to you next will be our string beans. This is an also very uh, simple dish to put together. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of this dish is uh, the roasted garlic and olive oil because who oh, doesn't yes. like roasted garlic and olive oil? Yes, 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 yes. I'm actually going to mix it in here and then I'm going to platter it. So what we're going to start with here is just our regular uh, string beans, but we, we cook them to al dente mm -hmm. in a boiling pot of water for about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes. Kept them firm. Um, we're just going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, black pepper, favorite part would be olive oil and garlic already roasted but I, I actually keep this in the house I actually chop a lot of garlic and olive oil and always keep it already cooked because yeah. it stays and I like to add it to a lot of different and it's dishes. so healthy I, I learned I learned in in Italy actually from a woman that said that a clove of garlic a day and a tablespoon of olive oil a day every day mm -hmm. as part of their life every morning that's what Sounds they like a good day. that's what they do <laughs> And the Oz are picked right from the tree and pressed right on site. But that's that's fantastic that you do that, uh, have that with everything. 
And I see, Chris, that most of your dishes can be accommodated for most dietary needs. Correct. There's just some ingredients if, you know, you don't have to add every one of the ingredients if there's something that... Sure. sure. Let's just give this a quick... And you're very conscientious in terms of taking that into consideration as far as your use of sugar, as far as your use of using craisins minimally just for color, right. uh, which is all very, very important for people's diets. Oh, the smells are so mm. wonderful. Just... So in order also to keep this down in calories and fat, mm -hmm. you can uh, normally toss it with a lot of Parmesan, but I just top it with the Parmesan. I don't want to... Just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit, because uh -huh. if it's good, a good product, you don't need a lot of it. Right, right. And this dish can also be transformed into a string bean almadine if you just added some toasted almonds. And, you Which know, are wonderful you know. B vitamins. Yeah, absolutely. Magnesium. All these foods are, are loaded with magnesium. Magnesium is so essential. It's over 600 processes in the body, and everything here, real nutrient-dense, is loaded with magnesium, zinc, and D vitamins, the three essentials. As simple as that. One of our last sides that we're going to be doing is a roasted sweet potato, which I actually roasted off-premise. Um, we tossed it with a little bit of uh, organic honey, a little bit of brown sugar, salt, light pepper, and then these are uh, basically, uh, they can either be wedges or you could cut them up into cubes, but I think for presentation pur purposes, mm -hmm. they always look better cut into wedges. And you, you, really, you really don't need all the marshmallows and candied <laughs> uh, sweet potato mix that you have. I mean, right mm -hmm. there you have just wonderful flavors Natural and spices. Sugars. Yeah, coming together. And sweet potatoes are so high on vitamin A um, and all the antioxidants just by themselves. They're still warm. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. These are always best to do the day of serving. You don't mm -hmm. ever want to prep these. And even you don't want to cut them the day before or put them in water because you lose the natural starches. We also There's also Parmesan potatoes we do as well. We toss it with, which is a little bit less healthy. Right. With Parmesan and breadcrumbs, but this itself is just delicious. Yeah, absolutely. Just by itself. And then I just top it with a little bit of Parmesan. And that's it. Exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. I'm always saying to people in, during the winter months or during as the holidays progress that uh, sweet potatoes, the butternut squashes, are a wonderful source of great carbohydrate, but at the same time in fiber uh, rather than going for the refined foods, and they add so much nutrient and so to a dish. But, last but not least, we have our uh, turkey roulade with our vegetable stuffing, which I'm going to stuff mm. here for you as well. So you can see here that for uh, a somewhat holiday menu, you can eat foods that are healthy, nutrient-dense, but have such wonderful flavors and aromaticity, and that's where Chris is extremely gifted, um, that you don't have to have the high-fat, high-sugar meals. It's part of holiday, which I'm always saying that when you eat great foods, select great foods, you feel better, and it's something you want to just make part of your life. And here you can see... Wonderful foods that can be put together um, that are just nutrient powerhouses. So come Thanksgiving, a lot of people, uh, I know they have a lot of people at the house, you know, mm -hmm. and then not everyone, you know, wants the dark meat. So what I like to offer is a, a bone-in, I'm sorry, boneless uh, turkey breast from Bell and Evans that we actually get the whole turkey. We break uh -huh. it down uh -huh. because a lot more people like you know, so likes the white meat. Right. So what I recommend to customers, you know, just tell them to buy a small turkey and buy a few breasts on the side so they actually have more white meat for their families. And it's, and it's easier to cook. You don't have to cook it for five hours. Interesting. It only takes about an hour and 45 minutes. Does it really? Wow. At what temperature? So that one would be 375 for uh -huh. the first hour. And the last like half hour to 45 minutes are 350 uncovered. And just simple ingredients, just salt, pepper, and garlic. That's all we ever... Uh, you know, encourage our clients to uh, put on, you know, like I said earlier, a good product doesn't need a lot of seasoning. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So this here is a boneless breast. Right. Which we're going to do is butterfly it. 
And can you explain uh, to my viewers what butterflying means? So, so butterflying can basically be done with almost any meat. Um, it's opening up a, like either a flank steak or a, piece, a chicken breast or a turkey breast just to keep opening until it's flat. And uh -huh. then either you can pound it down or okay. just cut it thin enough where you can roll okay. it. Okay, sure. And you do this with all meats, not just turkey. You do it with Correct. chicken, with chicken, you do it flank, with steak. flank steak. So right. if you get your like a uh, pork or beef rajol, you basically butterfly a piece of sure and pound it down to be pound thin. It. Correct, and then roll it like what we're going to do with a turkey. And you put a lot of effort into it. I can see it in the texture and the flavor Absolutely. and the feel of it. Absolutely. You put a lot of time into each uh, meat that you work with. So basically, this is just like a big chicken breast because that you're working with, which would num normally butterfly if you're going to be making chicken cutlets or if you're doing a stuffed chicken. So you you're know, giving me a cooking lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a butterfly turkey uh -huh. breast there. Okay. And then we'll get okay. our vegetable stuffing. This is our vegetable stuffing, and I'll show you mm -hmm. what it consists of. And it's, so we do is an Italian bread. Uh, we dry it out, and then we season it with just salt, pepper, garlic. Okay. And then we cook it with some turkey gravy. Uh huh. With also with some uh, zucchini, uh -huh. shredded carrots, a little bit of mushrooms, there. roasted garlic, onions. Okay. And then you let it cool, of course. So you cook it first. You either chill it overnight or put mm -hmm. it in the freezer. So then you can eventually uh, stuff your turkey breast with it. Mm hmm. Take it here. Yeah. You want to just try to keep it even. Mm -hmm. So when you do go to roll it, it's not making a mess everywhere. You know, keep a, maybe a half inch to three quarters of an inch throughout this turkey of the stuffing. And you kind of want it to be dry because you don't want it to uh, leak as you're doing this as well. Mix it, yeah. Yeah, you don't want it to. Very uh, important. Makes sense, yeah. Oh, a little on the drier side. Some people uh -huh. like to put extra gravy just to keep it, you know, right. uh, moist. But right. what we're doing here is putting in a turkey, and all the moisture is going to come from the turkey. From itself. the turkey, sure. So excuse sure. me. So you're going to yeah. come here. You're going to turn, and we're going to roll it. As you know. Wow, amazing! There it is. Start with that, and now let's take these off. It'll be easier for me. And then you just get some rope. Mm -hmm. so, and very simple, you know, come here and then can YouTube a butcher knot? <laughs> and you're just going to put about four or five of these throughout the breast okay. to hold it. Uh huh. When you do stuff the turkey, though, it's going to take a little bit longer. Right. So I'd recommend probably this is going to be maybe what it's stuffed, it'll probably a little over two hours in total cooking time. Okay. So you could just, and like I said, just a very uh, light seasoning, salt, pepper, thank you. You're welcome. Garlic. Uh-huh. And that's it. And the total cooking time, actual cooking time is uh, how much did probably you about, say? Probably about two, and a half, two, two hours and 15 minutes, uh -huh. I would say. But normally it would be uh, probably about an hour and forty hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes if it wasn't stuffed. But I like to go a little longer just to be on the safe side, mm -hmm. especially with the stuffing. Right, right. And then salmon out, right. Food sanitation and procedures. You could just, and you can just set it in the oven just like that. And then I have a finished product of what it looks like after we cook it. Oh, fantastic. I have to tell you, I feel like I'm back in Italy <laughs> because uh, with the butternut squash and the olive oils and your farro and wonderful pl plum tomatoes, I just feel like I'm back in Italy. It's just wonderful flavors and colors, the freshness and natural quality. Also, the best, one of the good things with doing a turkey breast like this is uh -huh. you can always uh, do it in advance. So if you roast it in the morning, you right. let it cool. Right. You can slice it, put it right. in a tray, yeah. and then right before you're about to serve it, all you have to do is warm it. You don't have to worry about its timing because everyone's always right. frantic Worrying about, about when, the, sure. when the turkey is going to be done. Sure. So sure. this is a nice That's wonderful way to, to know. less stress. Absolutely wonderful to know. So we just... It's the same size turkey breast. Yeah. 
And there it is. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So you have your turkey and your stuffing all in one. And what you can do is just thinly slice it and uh, put it on the platter and throw some gravy on top. So you have your, you doesn't have your... that look beautiful? And and much healthier than you would with the fat and the grease that comes from the Correct. turkey that you have to siphon away mm -hmm. and, and try to get what you want. And at the same time, it's nutrient-dense, but you also have the leanness of, of the breast. Well, I have, to, I have to say that during holidays coming up, what a wonderful spin on typical foods that we normally have, but in such a healthy, delicious, and aromatic way. Who would not want to try any of these as a substitute to feel better and also eat in a healthy and nutritious way? Each and every item has such benefit to mm -hmm. it and in the whole realm of the Absolutely. holidays and Thanksgiving. And um, I'm sure you make a lot of these meals during Thanksgiving for, yeah. <laughs> for people as well as uh, during Christmas or other holidays. Yeah. Yeah, we, we tend to be very helpful, whether it's a large scale or just three or four people, you know, that don't want to cook a whole turkey. Right. We do this for them, you know, so they can just pick up a little turkey yeah. breast, have yeah. their sides, and they don't have to worry about the stresses of having to go to the store and buying all the different oh, yeah. ingredients. They just pick up the phone and call us and, and make it, you know, we also cook like for dietary needs as well. If you can't have sugar or salt, you know, we just tend to work with any type of... Uh, right. You can modify accordingly. Absolutely. I can see that here with, uh, for instance, your Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. which are great, full of antioxidants, phenomenal. But just by taking the cranberries away, it could be uh, wonderful for a diabetic meal. Or in terms of the mozzarella, the fresh mozzarella with tomato and basil and olive oil is wonderful in prevention of heart disease and helping with blood pressure and sweet potatoes that we don't, again, we don't have to have them candied or uh, excess sugar, just as they are, is full of antioxidants and vitamin A and D. Um, I, I'm extremely impressed. What a wonderful way to present Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity. <laughs> Everything looks so delicious. I can't wait for my crew to try it. <laughs> uh, remember, when you eat well and feel great, it's something you want to continue for the rest of your life. These are wonderful things to add to your Thanksgiving table. And you can see that it, it's not as much time as everyone thinks. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much to my crew. Have a nice night.